Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How To Tuesday. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic one hook stinger for your soft bait. It's a little bit something like this. Pretty easy to do once you know how, but you always need to show them for that first time. So I'm going to quickly run you through the things that you need to make this and then show you guys how to make it. So, first thing you need, some wire. This is 80 pound wire. Um, just cheap stuff that I use. Next thing, some crimps. Get the crimps that obviously match the wire that you're using. You don't want it to be too small because you're not going to be fit, able to fit the wire through. You don't want it to be too big because they won't crimp down properly. Next thing you need is a treble hook. This is a size one that I'll be using on the 14 centimeter lure that I'm going to be demonstrating with. Obviously you choose the hook size to go with the lure. The bigger the, bigger the lure, the bigger the hook, generally. Next you're going to need a shallow screw or a uh, weighted cork screw if that's something that you want to use instead. Stinger spike, these are pretty easy to make yourself or you can buy them. Two split rings, these are 8mm inside diameter that I'm using, they're quite a strong gauge. Um, and then optional if you wanted, such as on this one, you can add a swivel to the front there. Um, I won't be adding the swivel to it, um, because I don't personally think it's important, I like to keep things a bit more streamlined. But you can add the swivel if you want to do it. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to make the uh, stinger and hopefully you guys can learn how to do it yourselves. Right guys, so we've got everything we need laid out on our work surface today. Tools that we need for this is crimping pliers, side cutters and split ring pliers as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. 14 centimeter Kofi Perch is the model uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to figure out how long we need this stinger to be. So I like to line up the hook, sort of where I'd want it to be on the bait, which is around about halfway down the main body. So it's when it's tucked in, it's tuck, not tucking too far into the tail. And again, not too close to the head. So yeah, if it's pegged about halfway down the body like so, it's usually a good um, place to do it. So, sort of work out by lining things up how much wire that you're going to need. A little bit tricky to do one handed, but hopefully you can get the idea of what I'm trying to show here. So if that's the sort of gap between the split rings that we'll need, it shows us sort of how much wire we need to bring out. So it's about that much distance plus about a centimetre and a half for each side, so you probably look at, yeah, add three centimetres to it basically. So we're going to get some of our wire, I'm going to take this wire, line it up, again between those split rings, see that distance there between them, where you want them to be, and then I'm going to add around about three centimetres to that. So we're going to cut our wire there, just using our side cutters. So that's a piece of wire we're going to be using. Slightly longer than um, the length that we actually need, but yeah, we're gonna just quickly run this one together now. So, take your crimp, take your crimp. These are double barrel crimps, you don't need double barrel crimps at all. But you're gonna slide one side on, grab a split ring, like so. Fold the tag end over, push that back through the other side of the crimp. Sorry if you can't see this, it's not the easiest thing to do when I'm trying to do it through a camera lens. But yeah, I like to just leave a little bit of a tag end as you can probably see there. Not too much, not too little. Um, just so you know it's fully through. Take the crimping pliers. Crimp that down hard. Um, with these crimps I only crimp one side. There we go, that, that won't slip like that. So we're going to do exactly the same with the other split ring. There's the other split ring crimped on the other side, just exactly the same manner. Um, I've left my loops a little bit smaller than I would recommend. Um, I actually cut my wire a bit shorter than I wanted to. <laughs> so yeah, I had to do that. I'd probably, I'd, I would leave a little bit more wire and make the loops a bit bigger than what I have done there. But yeah, that's the basic thing. So next thing is just basic assembly. Take your split ring pliers. What I like to do, start at the front. I'm just gonna open that split ring put the shallow screw on, like so. So that is basically the front side complete there. And next, all we need to do is add the stinger spike and the hook. So I'll go hook first because it's the bigger diameter. 
and that'll hold the split ring open. Slide that a bit further and then just add that stinger spike. That is your complete stinger rig. Super easy to make. And yeah, we're gonna rig that on now. Make sure it is the right size. Boom, rigged, ready to go. It's like that hooking if you want. Like I say, you can add that swivel up the front. Um, it would just mean that, um, you know, you can act, swivel your hook around and angle it in wherever you want to angle it. But yeah, there's your basic, um, basic stinger. Hook it into your bait like so. And uh, yeah, there's your uh, shallow rigged soft bait. So there we go guys, completely little stinger rig. Like I say, this is the basic one, no split ring or anything like that. But it does the job, it's all you need really. Um, easy to do. The equipment that you need is actually really cheap, the wire, the split rings and everything. I'll leave links to them all down in the description um, if you wanna buy them and try making your own. But um, yeah, they are cheap to make. They're a lot cheaper to make than they are to buy. Um, and yeah, you can, you know, Add your swivels and stuff, make them a little bit more streamlined. Like obviously, for this one, the split rings are a little bit big. Um, the wire was a little bit thick, but it's easier to show on the demonstration with like the bigger parts and stuff like that. So obviously, if you want a bit more of a finesse finish on your um, shallow rig, smaller split rings, thinner wire, smaller, um, smaller stinger spike, and um, yeah, you know, play around with it, mix it up. Do different things um, with this thing you can rig on the back you could take it off the shallow rig and rig it with a jig head etc so yeah easy to make quite versatile and a lot cheaper to make on your own so like I say hope that has helped some of you guys a link will be in the description to everything that I've used and you know recommended things like recommended wires and stuff like that so yeah hope that's helped some of you guys out let me know in the comments down below other how-to videos you want to see and that is going to do it for this one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.